Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Blessed. Blessed. Thank you, I'm so thankful to, to be here. Um, and I'm going to share a poem that I wrote my freshman year at USC called Grounded. Grounded. Why is it that I seem to be everything but grounded when they look at me? My walk, my talk, the way that I say hi, it all seems to mess up whenever they walk by. See, they're grounded the way they sit in a room, commanding a presence that I sometimes have too. They're older, I tell myself, they're supposed to be that way, grounded and happy, never confused or delayed, but could it be my perception, toiled and unnecessarily distraught, that's causing my mind to perceive reality as something it's not? They seem like they're grounded, so I look up to them for all their accomplishments, connections, and personal friends who seem to be on a higher level, or so society is implemented in my head. See, as a little girl, only poor people have dreads. The subconscious thought to an extent that infused confusion because that girl was me. Little bongo nati dreadhead. Rooted, grounded, free. In this new land, my former world seems miles, worlds, galacticas away. Lord, please help me find a just way to portray who I really am, grounded. Only poor people have dreads. Why did that thought come to mind? Is it playing tricks on me, or is it a depiction of what's been refined over time, mentally imprinted chains, created by an underdog girl attempting to understand the history of her name while maintaining sane and avoiding the street game because I've seen what it can do to innocent people like me and you, grounded. <laughs> Only poor people have dreads. Who would have thought? This USC Trojan, she once had locks. Mary Jane, the Rasta Liberty, something I grew up around. Boy, was it a sight to see. Stranger to that world, some say. She's from Hawaii, sunshine and beautiful days. Who would have thought she'd have anything intriguing to say? Grounded. See, we become grounded by what we think of ourselves, not by what others think of us. Whether they're from high socioeconomic status, have friends that own mansions, or are inconceivably talented, seen on YouTube and MTV, there's still people just like you and me. Nothing comes gratis in this Darwinian apparatus, so never think you're worth any less than the beautiful woman God made you, an empress. I am grounded when I sit back and reflect. Remember, recall, that I am equally intellect. See, the price of your worth was paid in full by a father who loved you more than you ever knew. Grounded is exactly what you'll be when you spend time with him. You realize you're free, grounded. No longer expounded by the lies of the devil trying to surmount at your mind with tumultuous fear. He's knocking at the door. No one is here, for only God's voice is who I'll choose to hear. Grounded is exactly what I am when I lay down my life and place it all in his hands. He has a plan much greater than mine, and in his perfect time, I'll have my chance to shine bright. His light within me will glow effervescently for the world to see his glory revealed, no longer concealed, just continually healed. For he makes me grounded. There's no other way around it. Thank you. Beautiful.